Hello again. The weather pattern had great timing for the long weekend with dry conditions right through. But the next weather system is on its way. There was cloud for much of the time this morning, meaning it couldn't cool down much overnight. The cloud cleared out to sunshine this afternoon with a top of 15. Then the next bank of cloud arrived late afternoon, producing a colourful sunset. Most suburbs peaked at 15 today, a couple on 16, a few only on 14. The wind has picked up and will continue to do so this season evening. So despite the mild temperatures, it feels much colder out there. If you are north of the ranges this long weekend, it's been rather different. A lot of clouds stuck north of the divide with some light rain at times too. Sunshine did return from the west later on this afternoon. Mildura made it up to 20 degrees. High pressure brought the run of dry weather in Melbourne and light rain north of the divide, extending into New South Wales and Queensland today thanks to this upper level trough. But we look west for our next change. It's shaping up to be a very changeable week. A front tomorrow, a trough on Wednesday and two further fronts lining up in behind that. Most of tomorrow's wet weather is on and north of the ranges. On Wednesday and Thursday, it continues about the southwest to western Gippsland and up into the ranges too. By Friday, though, there's hardly anything left. We might actually see quite a bit of sun to end the week. Around the nation tomorrow, Brisbane and Sydney could both see fog at first ahead of a sunny day. Showers and potential sun Thunderstorms in Canberra and Adelaide, but Hobart misses out on the dry side of the ranges. Perth has showers developing later. To Victoria, the next burst of wet weather begins in the west early morning, spreads across the north tomorrow with widespread showers and the risk of thunderstorms on a cool to mild day that turns colder when this front passes through and then it falls as snow in the Alps. Gippsland is sheltered by the ranges, so there are less showers there. Closer in, winds are gusty northerly, so we're also sheltered by the ranges. I'd expect these showers to be passing through, but with long dry breaks in between, and it only adds up to zero to four millimetres. The city has the odd shower passing through. It does look dry for much of the time tomorrow, but we only peak at 14 and it is windy, particularly in the morning, so it'll feel rather chilly. To the eight-day outlook, we have the odd shower passing through again on Wednesday and Thursday too. About nine degrees to start, a tops of 15 on both those days. Friday and Saturday, absolutely amazing. We jump up to 17. There's bright sunshine all day Friday and for much of Saturday as well. However, a northerly wind will be picking up here, so it's not quite as warm as it looks. Then Sunday, it changes in the early hours. We've got a big system coming through Sunday. Monday into Monday. So tomorrow we peak at only 14 and the wind makes it feel even chillier. There is the odd shower passing through. Keep the umbrella handy and then repeat until later in the week, Mitch. Nice dose of winter. <laughs> Thank you, Jane.